For the sixth year in a row, MSI flew in world-class overclockers from around the world to compete in the grand final of the Master Overclocking Arena. This year, there were 16 contestants in the live final of this global overclocking competition. Last year, overclockers were competing in teams of two, but this year they're all on their own. The finalists were selected via a rigorous online qualification process hosted by HWBOT. The qualification phase was divided into three regions and two classes. The best of each class and region received a ticket to fly out to Taipei, Taiwan. MSI refreshed the competition format for the 2013 Grand Final. The contest is spread over the course of two days. On the first day we have the so-called classic battle and on the second day MSI organized a much more relaxing freestyle session. The classic battle is similar to the competition style of the previous MOA editions. Overclockers aim for the best possible score in three pre-selected benchmarks. The score is given based on the percentual performance improvement over a reference score. The goal of the freestyle competition is quite simple. Break world records in 10 predefined benchmarks. Both MSI and event partner Corsair put up a thousand US dollar bounty for every world record broken. Adding the cash bounty to the 6,000 US dollar prize money of the classic battle, the overclockers are competing for a total prize purse of a stunning 26,000 US dollar. This is the highest ever for an overclocking competition. To ensure a fair competition, MSI entrusted Master Judge Der Bauer and his two little helpers Elmore and Mazman. According to tradition, MSI and its partners provide the hardware for the classic battle. This year's competition platform consisted of the following components. The MSI Z87 Empower Max motherboard, the MSI GTX 780 Lightning graphics card, two Core i7-4770K CPUs from Intel, the Silent Pro M2 1500W Cooler Master power supply, a special bin of DDR3 2800 Corsair Vengeance Pro memory, the Plextor M5 Pro Extreme SSD, and a gaming keyboard and mouse from Corsair. For the freestyle competitions, overclockers were allowed to bring their own hardware. This is a first for MOA. The classic battle consists of three benchmarks, SuperPi 32M, Cinebench 11.5 and 3D Mark Fire Strike. Each stage had its own competition timeframe. Overclockers had two hours to set the best SuperPi score, two hours for Cinebench and then three hours for Fire Strike. The task is simple and straightforward. The better the score, the more points you get. The classic battle was one of the most intense live competitions we have ever seen. On average, the contestants recorded 25 submissions per hour. The MOA ranking table evolved at a fast and constant pace, with most of the top 10 within a couple of points until the very end. To top it off, the podium was only decided in the closing seconds of the competition, and the top 3 finished within less than 0.50%. The second day was a lot less intense for most of the overclockers as they could decide their own benchmarking pace. Some overclockers started off slowly, others went straight to action. Most of the overclockers pulled together the hardware they used during the classic battle, hoping to find a great combination. Only a few brought their golden hardware from home to aim for the world record. The most impressive achievement of the day came from Brazilian superstar Arbuas. He was able to run the Heaven benchmark over and over again for 6 hours straight and approved his own world record 5 times in a row. A final score of nearly 4,700 points yielded him a nice sum of 2,333 US dollars. Two other overclockers also managed to break a world record. Vivi from South Africa took down the 4-core Cinebench record and OC Windforce from South Korea improved the record for 6-core XTU. The podium of the classic battle consisted of three top overclockers. 
On third place, we have Extreme Attic from Poland. Thanks to a last second 3 mark score, Lucky New from Indonesia finished second. But everyone at the competition agreed that with such incredible 3D results, the victory of Tolsty from Ukraine was more than deserved. Overall, the MSI Master Overclocking Arena 2013 was a success. Once again, MSI showed everyone why MOA is considered the standard for live overclocking competitions. With a good competition format and a very overclocking-centric approach, it is no surprise that every year again, overclockers look forward to compete for the title of MOA World Champion. Proud of their own competition, MSI already announced that MOA will continue next year. We are looking forward to 2014. See you next year!